to steal an entire truck from a PF convoy. We don't have a fix on the truck we want, but the intel team has spotted the unit that's been tasked with escorting it. They're stationed at the guard post to the north of Nova Braga Airport on the Savannah. The rendezvous with our target will be any time now. Start by heading to that guard post. Then follow the escort unit. It should lead you right to the target truck. Boss, extract them from the mission area. You can check the target details on your iDroid. Marker placed. Alright my friends, welcome back to my walkthrough for Metal Gear Solid 5. This episode is called Traitor's Caravan and we have quite a few objectives to complete even though it's not a very hard mission but it can be troublesome if you're trying to achieve perfect stealth and no kills that can be that can make this mission a little bit more complicated but there's still a way and what we're going to start by doing is gather an intel file so that we know where we need to go next which is Nova Braga airport but nonetheless I am going to collect the intel which is located on this camp right here we're just going to go all the way around the camp the intel file is located inside one of the tents it's that tent right there near the watchtower the problem with that tent is that there are soldiers patrolling it and there's also that soldier there guarding the tent but they will stop to smoke and if we enter through this side then we have nothing to worry about so now we just need to sneak in gather the intel and then we'll be out of here before they can even do anything Keep yourself quiet, Tuki, because if you make a noise, then we might be in, in trouble. Okay, so we have the information that we need, and now we're going to head to Nova Braga Airport. That airport is right here but we're going to position ourselves on top of the cliffs surrounding the airport so that we can identify the truck and also the escort vehicles that we that are going to escort, escort the, the truck because that's another objective for this mission I'm just going to calmly crawl my way out of here you saw nothing there we go, and from here we can start running. Another objective for this mission includes extracting three zero, zero unit soldiers, but we're going to wait until they're knocked out to extract them, however we are going to mark them now so that we can keep a knife out for their location because their location can be a little bit glitchy, at least in my game. They don't always follow the, the caravan. And as such you might need to backtrack a little bit to find them once they get knocked out. But that's why we're going to mark them and that way we'll always know where they are. There they are. We only need to extract three of them. One of them's a troublemaker, so I'm not going to extract that guy for sure. And now we're just going to head towards the airport. Now for this mission again, another glitch that you might encounter sometimes. The, the vehicles that are responsible for escorting the truck don't appear. And if that happens, then you'll miss an optional conversation and you need to listen to three conversations in this game so yeah that's another issue that you might encounter 
unfortunately there's a few missions in this game that are glitched and you might just have to replay the mission that happened to me when I was practicing this mission the escort vehicles never appeared and as a result I was left here on top of the mountain just walking around in circles and wasting my time so from this position we're just going to move forward a little bit more and then we'll be able to spot the truck, there it is we need to mark it there we go that's another objective completed and remember we need to extract the truck driver as well that guy, it says that he has an S rank stat and I actually didn't know about that ability before but one of you informed me that, informed me that there's a few soldiers who can hide their abilities in this case this guy it says that he has an S rank stat but he doesn't it's all a lie and I learned that the hard way in the previous mission when I got all excited because I extracted the Viscount with S rank stats but then in the end it turns out that he didn't have S rank stats at all so he's just an S not an S, just an S but there's the two tanks which will escort the truck we've marked them and now we're just going to patiently wait right here near the wall you can also use your intel scope if you want but we're going to wait for the conversation to begin fortunately they're arriving so it won't take too long but considering we have to wait for the caravan to arrive since in the next section since I'm going to get there before they, they, they get there I'm probably going to cut out the waiting time because you literally don't do anything but at least the first conversation is going to start right now and we need to listen to three conversations between the soldiers and this is the first one, we're just going to wait for that guy to arrive they sure like to take their time Come on, turn around, dude. Start talking. Okay, so that's the first conversation. I already marked on the map the next location, as you saw previously. So we're going to head towards the next checkpoint here. And I wonder if the zombie craze is ever going to fade out. Probably not, or at least not anytime soon, but... <laughs> it's amazing how so many game franchises are including zombies. So you just have to keep running there and there's the zero unit again keep an eye out for them as well because there's always a small chance that they won't follow the caravan and if that happens then you need to know where they're located otherwise you'll just have to keep running around to find them again it's just one of those things where no matter what you do, you can't really control the bugs that the game has. But we're almost there. And once again here we're going to listen into another conversation. And for this mission we, we need to battle the skulls again. So we're going to use sleep grenades to make sure that we're not spotted. And we're going to take out the skulls that way. So what I advise that you do assuming you don't have 
the upgrade which gives you 8 sleep grenades, I don't have it. We're actually going to call for a supply drop so that we have a few extra grenades just in case we can't take out the skulls in a single go. So here we are, location of the second conversation. Just going to scan the soldiers. There's so many soldiers who are liars and lie about their stats in this mission, it's insane. But this will be our next location, the location of the last conversation and where we'll battle the skull, so let's mark it. And I'm going to call for a supply drop right there on the side because chances are I'll need it. And now there's going to be a small cut here guys because we still have to wait for the caravan to arrive and I'm sure you guys don't feel like waiting. Okay guys, so we are back, the truck driver has arrived, so we're going to listen in to the conversation using the intel scope again. Took them long enough to get here. I understand that you have to be patient in this game, but sometimes... <laughs> I really do wish that the enemies would m speed up things a little bit. Jy loop nie en praat hier oor nie. Wat bedoel jy? Ek skuld jylle een gids, so volg net my advies. Ach, ek weet nooit hierdie ou. Well, that's not a good sign now, is it? But time to move out to the next location and now we're going to run as fast as possible. We have more than enough time before the caravan arrives. And I know that I could have, like, called for a jeep at the start of the mission, but Really guys, it doesn't matter if you run or if you drive to the next location because you always have to wait for the caravan if you're looking to complete the optional objectives. So, unfortunately, it doesn't really matter how fast you reach the next checkpoint because you always have to wait for the caravan. And those guys are really, really slow and take their time. Sometimes, another thing that might happen it might take a while before the soldiers actually start talking. Again, it's another bug. They'll just st <laughs> they'll just stand in front of each other, not talking. If that happens, you just have to wait and hope for the best. But yeah, sometimes it takes them a little bit before they start talking. It's similar to the interrogation of the the Viscount in the previous mission, or actually two missions ago. That was two missions ago, there's been a mission in between those two. Sometimes it just takes a little bit before the conversation begins and there's really nothing that you can do. Okay, those soldiers are far away so we don't need to worry about them for now. We're going to keep our distance from the truck because if we get too close to the truck that will trigger a cutscene and we don't want to witness that cutscene until the last conversation happens. Analysis complete. Boss, the target has reached Kasim. And all these soldiers are either liars or their stats just aren't that great. Okay. So we're going to wait here and we're going to use the Intel scope to listen in to the conversation. Take your time, dude. So, how's your day going, Bob? We're going fine, Fred. Hey, stop it! You know the rules. Look at the sail up and my client can be done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the overhead cost. You will be declared for a contract break. What a hell, man! And you blame the fees off. Let 
You are both liars. That guy has a gold watch though, he must be doing well in life. Okay, so now that the conversation is over, we're going to approach the truck and we're gonna steal it. And just like that, everyone has turned into zombies. But another objective for this mission, guys, we have to take out the skulls. Now, unfortunately, what happens in this mission, if you fire at them, even with a tranquilizer gun or a gun with a silencer, they will still enter alert mode and they'll still manage to spot you. So that's why I'm going to use sleep grenades so as you can see I'm starting by throwing a few empty magazines to make sure that all the skulls get close together they'll be lured by the sound and now we're just going to keep throwing sleep grenades at, at them until that depletes their stamina and that will take them out as you can see one sleep grenade does a pretty good job but we need to throw a few more and unfortunately there's a skull that's lagging behind little bastard so we're probably going to have to go uh, ahead and pick up the another set of sleep grenades but with this first set I should manage to put the first three skulls to sleep Yeah, that guy's going to be awake, but the other ones are going to be knocked out. Unfortunately, there was that slow poke in the back who took a little bit to, to get too close, but... Okay, three of the skulls are down. I still have one sleep grenade, which I'm not going to waste. I'm going to throw it on that guy. But that's not going to be enough to finish him off. So that's why I call the supply drop guys. I was already expecting this to happen. And as such we won't have any problems. Apparently he can see me from that far away but it doesn't really matter. Because I actually want him to come up the hill. That way it will save me a little bit of time. But I'm far away at this point so the guy's not going to, to see me so let's grab another set of sleep grenades and two more sleep grenades should do him in maybe with some luck even one will be enough Tuki you stay calm because I don't want the guy to see you it would be a pain if we entered alert mode right now when we're so close to the end of the mission okay so he's right around that house, so at this distance I will manage to hit him with the sleep grenade. There we go. Come on dude, just fall asleep. You're going to make me waste another sleep grenade, aren't you? Yes you are. <laughs> You'd think that would have been enough, but he was left with just a little bit of stamina left. Come on, fall asleep. Finally. Okay, and that takes care of all of them. And whoa, what am I doing here? I <laughs> totally forgot about that. No, I don't want to step into the smoke. See, snakes already having hallucinations. But yeah, they're going to run away. Good for them. The objective is complete. We took out the skulls and that's how you take them out. Without... 
causing an alert. Plus, if you fire a rocket at them, there's a pretty good chance that you'll kill the soldiers and those will count as dead, so... That will affect your perfect stealth no kill score. Actually, you won't gain points for that. And as you can see, the zero unit is not around, they didn't follow the caravan, so they stayed behind. So what we have to do now is go ahead and get them. We got the truck driver, we got the truck. So now all that we need to do in order to fully complete this mission is extract three zero unit soldiers and then we can skedaddle and get out of the hot zone. Here they are, they shouldn't have been this far away, like I said they should have followed the caravan, don't ask me why that didn't happen. Uh, you're a troublemaker, so nope, you're going to be the one staying behind. You can come, and there's the other one. There we go. Another objective completed. You can stay there and take a nap. And as you can see, all of the objectives are marked. We've completed them all, so now let's get out of the hot zone, I could call an helicopter, but instead I'm going to drive the jeep with Tuki by my side. Let's do this. There we go. Parking time. Did we put a seat belt on, on our dog? I don't think we did. Okay, time to find out how we did. We met all the objectives and we had perfect stealth, so we're going to get the S rank. Okay, there we go. All mission objectives completed and another mission concluded so there's going to be a, a small dialogue scene next which i'm going to let you guys enjoy in peace as always thank you so much for watching i hope you found this segment useful taking out the skulls really does wonders but i'll see you all later for the next part take care Boss, we searched the truck you recovered there were two primary types of cargo first drums of malachite a copper ore that took up most of the truck bed but Malachite is invaluable enough to warrant an escort. The real cargo was likely the second item, a shielding container. The contents, yellow cake. That's right, the raw material for a nuclear weapon. That might point to the weapon to surpass Metal Gear Emmerich told us about. But who can say? Thing is, there isn't a lot of it. Not enough to make a nuclear warhead. Give us some time. We'll look into it. Try to figure out why they had this under such close guard. <laughs>